And so here in Mission Control Houston, I'm very privileged to have a recently returned uh, International Space Station Commander, Koichi Wakana, the commander of Expedition 39. Koichi, thanks so much for joining me here inside the room today. I really appreciate it. It's my pleasure being here. So you just got back in May. You've only been back about a month and a half or so. How how's it how has it been readjusting? How's gravity? Well, first I felt the gravity is pretty heavy, but uh, we really have great exercise device on board and mm -hmm. a great protocol for the exercises. And then uh, we uh, kept up our strength, the muscle, and the bone density. So uh, the readaptation back to the uh, one gravity environment was not difficult. Actually, five years ago I flew on a five minute on flight, but mm -hmm. this time it seems easier for me to get back to this uh, oh, wow. environment. Well, it's got to feel lucky. Um, so let's just start off beginning of your mission. You know, there's a lot of hype. There's a lot of excitement. You guys are carrying the torch. Do you remember kind of what you were feeling leading up to that launch, getting to the Soyuz, getting ready? Yeah, we had uh, about two and a half years of training and uh, mm -hmm. the training facilities of the international partners and their dedicated instructors uh, uh, gave us an uh, excellent foundation uh, for preparation. Uh, that of the details that yeah. go into this complex mission and uh, yeah, Soyuz launch. It was my first time to launch on a Soyuz, and it's uh, very different from a shuttle launch. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had the Olympic torch, and it was uh, pretty exciting to be part of this uh, uh, wonderful uh, relay. And uh, this symbolizes international cooperation, not only in sports but also in the space and other activities that we work together. So um, yeah, I still remember this uh, November seventh. Uh, we launched on the Soyuz. It was pretty uh, soft launch uh, from what I felt inside. And uh, it took us only six hours to get to the space station uh, with this uh, four uh, revolution rendezvous. Uh, mm -hmm. And I'm glad to see that uh, now this uh, four revolution rendezvous is the standard operation, which means uh, we can get to work in the space station much quicker than before. You don't gotta spend two days hanging out inside the Soyuz That's anymore. Right, right. Well, what do you what do you remember? I mean, you guys got there, like you said, in just a few hours. You got a chance to talk to your family right upon arrival. What, what was it like just when you poked through that hatch again? Yeah, I felt. Uh, I still remember the smell of the space station when the hatch opened. What's it smell back. like? It's kind of like a little bit mechanical uh, smell, mm -hmm. and then, uh, but uh, somehow I remember this sensation, and uh, it was. I, I felt as if I came back to an old office, an old house. Gotcha, okay. And it was great to, to see uh, six crew members. The more the merrier. We mm -hmm. had nine crew members on board only for a short time of four days, but it was great. So it was a packed house. I mean, was there, so like you said, you flew back on expeditions 18, 19, 20. You're up there for, it was a big transition time. Any major differences between when you flew then and when you flew this time? Yeah, there's a a big difference between a three crew member stage to a six crew member stage. During mm -hmm. Expedition 18 and 19, we only had three crew members, and uh, American, Russian, and me uh, serving as crew of the Expedition 18 and 19. And uh, we were so busy, not only doing experiments or utilization of the space station, but mm -hmm. also housekeeping tasks, such as taking out the trash. And the uh, with the six crew members on board, we share those uh, tasks by six of us, and uh, we can allocate more time in the utilization, doing a lot of experiments, maintenance tasks. So I think we're in a very matured stage of mm -hmm. utilization of the space station with six crew members on board. So I uh, felt a quite difference this time. Okay, and you were the commander of Expedition 39. You were the first Japanese commander of the International Space Station. What was that like? How much? Did, what did that mean for you? Well, uh, it is a privilege for me to serve as the commander of Expedition mm -hmm. 39, and uh, I was very fortunate to be able to fly with uh, uh, one of the greatest, uh, well, many uh, great commanders uh, uh, before on my space shuttle and the space station flights. Mm -hmm. Uh, Brian Duffy was my uh, first commander of the space shuttle mission, actually first and second flight on the space shuttle. I, I flew with him and then uh, I was able to learn a lot from him and uh, I still remember, I will remember his uh, subtle but very skillful leadership uh, mm -hmm. uh, whenever I work in space, so I was very fortunate. And for Japan, um, uh, to have uh, their own representative as a commander of the International Space Station is a milestone in mm -hmm. the history of uh, Japanese uh, uh, human space exploration. And I am uh, feeling that the uh, trust and the expectation towards Japan as a partner of the international uh, effort in the space exploration has grown. And uh, 
Kibo module has been working very uh, functionally uh, properly since the uh, launch of Assemble in 2009 and uh, Japanese Kono 3 spacecraft has delivered mm -hmm. multiple times uh, important logistics to the space station. So that's why I felt, I feel the uh, trust has been uh, growing and uh, Japan can and should uh, contribute in, uh, in, in the space station program further and also uh, in the future, uh, human space exploration, international exploration uh, of space beyond low Earth orbit. Well, I think you definitely set a great example with your time as commander. How are you going to take that experience as commander on board the International Space Station and apply it to your future? Well, uh, of course, I would like to uh, stay an active uh, astronaut and uh, working in an ISS uh, program. And uh, communication is the key for the success of the mm -hmm. international program. And uh, Royce Renfro, who is sitting here as the, at the console as the flight director, he was our uh, lead flight director of uh, Expedition Increment 39. And uh, what a great leader and a great, great uh, you know, team you have here at the Johnson Space Center at the Mission Control Room. And uh, I would like to, to enhance this. I would like to keep working uh, to enhance this uh, uh, communication further, uh, better uh, among the international partners mm -hmm. so that we can further solidify this uh, partnership of the space program. We have acquired, we have learned a lot uh, through this uh, International Space Station program, how we can work together and then uh, go beyond uh, always uh, further from what we have right now. So I'm so uh, curious and interested in working towards the future uh, space exploration with their partnership. Awesome, awesome. Now I gotta ask any super memorable moments from your time on board, anything you're really gonna miss so being back down here on the ground? Yeah, there are a lot. Actually, it's hard to pinpoint one, but mm -hmm. uh, the magnificent view of the Earth. Yeah. Um, Last time, five years ago, when I lived on board the space station, we did not have cupola module, and now we have oh. seven window module. That, what a wonderful module! And then uh, you can never get bored looking through the windows of cupola. So um, that's a most uh, unforgettable memory to see this beautiful home planet uh, mm -hmm. in cupola. Beautiful aurora borealis and uh, stars and. Uh, and uh, also this uh, wonderful camaraderie that we had uh, among the crew members uh, eating together in Node 1 and service module. Um, Steve, who is the commander now, uh, we spent some toge together mm -hmm. with Steve, Oleg, and then Sasha. And um, what a wonderful uh, group, and I'm so privileged to be able to work with them. And, uh, you know, going back, I mean, when I was on board the space station, I really missed the, uh, the smell of the earth and family. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. But coming back here, I missed the same thing that I had uh, on board the space station. <laughs> well, you did a great job, and we're all very proud of you. We're glad to see you back down here on the ground, but hopefully we'll see you commanding another mission in the future. Looking forward to that. <laughs> all right, again, Expedition 39 Commander Koichi Wakata, first Japanese commander in history on board the International Space Station. Thanks again so much for joining me today. Great job. Best of luck in the future. Appreciate it.